Okay, there we go. Hey guys, how's it going? Are we ready to continue our insurgents egg lock for a little bit tonight? Alright. <clears throat> so when we left when we laughed, when we last left off, we just got to Rogan Town. So we're gonna explore. Make sure we don't miss any items here, and then the next thing we're going to be doing is heading over to... As uh, heading over to Helios, which is pretty good because that means we're finally going to be able to get Glen evolved and hopefully, possibly try and get Monster evolved as well. But first things first, gotta run around here and make sure we don't miss any items that are here. Oh yeah, the IV stone that's completely useless to us because we are using the egg lock which gives us nothing but Pokemon with perfect IVs. Oh yeah, that's where the battle tower thing is going to be. That is not available yet. Stuff or any ghost Pokemon. We're not wanting to do any of these trades. <clears throat> I should have remembered those Sharpedos not having anything on them. Not even worth the time trying to talk to them. Alright, I think that's everything except for the game corner, pretty much. Which, if I remember right, didn't have anything in it we could immediately do. But we might as well come in here and get the coin case. What is this? Did I read this before? A puzzle's resting on the table. Which puzzle? Oh. I don't th oh, it's this shit again. Oh, interesting. There's like different kinds of ones. <laughs> Screw these puzzles. I hate them so much. Alright, I think that's pretty much everything. We can just head. We can just head north. Oh, TM. Incinerate. It's kind of garbage to get incinerate this late. <laughs> Such a bad move. Alright, Route 6. Let me get our. Try and get our uh, token. Egg token here first. Far fetched. With a body slam, we shouldn't do too much. I shouldn't do enough to kill it at least. And we should be able to catch him pretty easily. Oh. Okay, Farfetch, fine. You're gonna make me waste a great ball on you. There we go. Alright. Game has to lag for a while when we first do stuff. There we go. In fact, I should probably make sure I have enough healing items before we before we leave. I don't remember if I stocked up or not. Uh, uh, we might be okay. 
with that. I don't think the route between here and Hel Helios is really that big. There's no vending machines in here. I can well I can I can afford to get some some more. I'll get six, put us up to fifteen. I get some super potions as well. Kinda of nice, nice having a ghost type just to make fighting types mess up and do that shit. Prime ape. Yeah, I don't really have any other. I suppose Kevin can take on fighting types as well with his defense. Get them with a couple of iron heads. Oh, and the flinch. Nice. And him on top. The classic him on top with his counter bullshit. Did you try did you try uh did you try another run, Derek? You should try I think you should I think you should give a second try if you didn't make it very far. In all honesty. If you get lucky if you just get lucky enough with the first few eggs being decent, you can Oh, you're going to try? What was it you got again? You were mad at it last night? How far did you get? Again, I can't remember. Or was this a new run you're talking about? They went awful months. Oh yeah, okay, so that's that the one you were tell telling us about yesterday. Yeah. You basically, yeah, you basically had only Pokemon weak to grass and that Roselia messed you up. Damn. That's, yeah, see that's unfortunate, I mean that's kind of like my, when I did my first Nuzlocke, the only Pokemon I had was the uh, Delta Squirtle, which is weak to... Um, which is weak to fighting, and the first fucking guy with the matchup just destroyed me, and I literally couldn't do anything. Oh, it was this fucking Smeargle guy again? Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> that's- that did like nothing. Oh my god. I like how he was confused for one turn and never even hit himself the whole time. Amazing. Shana. Let's see if Monster can actually take this thing out. God, yeah, that sucks. <coughs> it's pretty bad when you get two of the same type. Is your first two eggs as well. Like, what, run into one thing that's super effective to them and you're just screwed. I'm quite happy to just keep Poseidon in for a while. Just until we get to Helios. I do not want to deal with one of my Pokemon getting knocked out before we get there. Especially Monster and Glenn. I want to get far enough for the two of them to get evolved.
Alright. Oh yeah. Sweet free revive over here just in case. Don't be a cunt all your life. I'm just gonna use some repels actually. Just so I don't have to deal with that shit. What the hell's up here? Oh yeah, it's this. Ah, that's right, protect her and then this guy. Last time you saved was right before you got your first egg. So you could just. Are you just gonna restart from there and just choose a different egg? This time rather than going through like the whole beginning of the game again. Yeah. Because, yeah, because the start. The, start, the starting part of the game is, takes a while to get through. Like getting, to the, getting from the start of the game to when you get in your starter takes quite a while, so it's kind of annoying having to restart from that. I don't think there was anything over here, was though? No. Weirdly not. Stand. Slowly starting to run out of ice beams here, though. And Firo. Smart AI. Go for the roost on the. <laughs> Go for the roost when you're at full HP. Is that it? Wait, is there, an, is there another town between... Oh no. Okay, here we go. I think there's literally just... A few trainers left. I guess while I'm here I'll get my token first. Before we fight any of the trainers. Gotta wait my repel running out though. <laughs> Professor Oak is going senile and crashes chat. What? What, the, the bot thing? Is it just losing its shit right now? Is it Ice Crash streaming right now? Oh wait, do you mean the um the the, the secret base stuff? The uh the pokey card thing? Oh that thing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, what the fuck? That's so weird. He just really wants everybody in Crash's Discord to come watch my stream, I guess. I totally forgot we were fighting a wild Pokemon there. To get a token. <laughs> God damn it. Well, rip. Oh, that's not good. I was kind of expecting him to. Okay. Nasty plot and then fling. Solid, uh. Solid, uh. Choice there. And moves. 
Is the AI broken in this game to always go for fling even if they're not holding anything? Like, what is going on? <laughs> so weird. Oops. Brilliant. Seed flare. Another, I think that's six rare candies we've got now. Oh, look, it's the asshole that killed two of my Pokemon on the last stream. Heliolisk. Hmm. Absol. You can take care of that armpits. Sorry for the loud banging noises, by the way. You'll never guess who that is, doing that constantly and not fucking stopping for some reason. I'm literally just going to keep Monster and Clan like that for now. We can train them up later. I just don't want them dying before we get to... before we get into Helios here and get them evolved. We're literally here. Oh, thank god. Unfortunately not. Anytime we find a place it's either too much money, not in a good location of any kind, or it is a good place that we're interested in but it's already gone by the time we could phone up about it. So, unfortunately not. Alright, let's explore, get all the items we can. I can't remember if there's actually anything in here that we can get. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Finally started playing Mario Odyssey. Oh, sweet man! How much? How are you liking it so far? I need to get on that shit. I think there's an item down here, isn't there? Oh, there's not. Alright. Alright, well. Okay, so the black market. Well, if we go that way, once we go downstairs. Which I think here. We're not going to be able to evolve Glenn until we go downstairs and get to the black market. 
And I don't know if there's a way back up. I think you can get back up, but you have to go through that fucking dark maze. In fact, hold on. Somebody said you can get a flashlight for that. And I want to see if there's any way. I actually kind of want to see where you get it. Just so we can get through that a bit fast. That way I can go down and get him evolved in and come back up and do other stuff. Oh, it's found in the sewers. The flashlight. Okay. Where though? Oh, there's a full map of the place here, that's kind of useful. right down and then left from the Helios department store entrance. Up, right, down and then left? What? Up, right, oh. That's the Helios entrance, isn't it? Up, right, down and left. What, in there? Okay, hold on. I'm actually going to jump down there and try and see if I can get all the items and the flashlight and then I can come back up and do other stuff. Just so I can get this kind of out of the way. So, up. Oops. I forgot there's actually a little Pokemon down here. Okay, well, we can get an encounter here. I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll put on some repels. There we go. Actually, totally forgot there's actually a wild Pokemon down here. I mean, even with, <laughs> to be honest, even with the flashlight, this place is still going to be a fucking a mess trying to get through. It's still a huge ass maze. But at least this will make it a bit easier. Down and then left in here. Hey, there we go. Now we can actually see what the fuck we're doing. It's not much better, but it'll do. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Fix all that shit. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, this is the Gunkshot Acid guy. Okay. Oh, Gunkshot on Armpits would act that would actually be kind of useful, to be honest. That actually would be useful, especially for the upcoming fight with, um... Especially with the upcoming fight with the Mega Altaria. A Gunkshot from Infernate would do a ton of damage to that thing. And luckily, because we're fire and fighting, his fairy moves won't be super effective and his dragon moves won't be either. And his fire blast won't do much to us. I think that's probably a good idea. Okay.
Jim, that's back to the start. Yeah, our psycho heart doesn't do much for us. Oh, where does this take us? Oh, hello. Where's this place? I don't think we ever found this before. Oh, I can't. No! Although that looks like it's just another one of those puzzles. Didn't I not have. Wait, hold on. Oh, I got rid of Icy Wind. Shit. Damn it. Hold on, let me let me check something. Is there a list of moves for this that will tell me what strength what works for strength? Okay. So the moves that work for strength. Bulldoze, steamroller, ominous wind, icy wind, giga impact, slam, whirlwind, rock throw, heavy slam, barrage, psychic, and headbutt. I don't think we have access to any of those moves. I don't think I have a TM or anything of those. Okay. Well, it looks like it, that does kind of look like that's just one of those puzzles, so probably don't even want to bother with that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, we could maybe get a heart scale if I just keep coming up here. This would be a good way for us to farm these rocks. If I can just do this to get one heart scale so that we can get both of them evolved. I don't know how long this is going to take though. I have no idea what the percentage rate is. Uh, we got a dome fossil, that's not what we're needing. Nope. Well, okay, well, yeah, we need to we need to use a heart scale so that we can get ancient power on monster so that he can evolve into Mama Swine. So we can get him evolved, and then once we get to the black market, I can get the King's Rock, and then we can evolve Poliwhirl as well. And then we'll have a fully evolved team, finally. Go fossil. I mean, I guess these fossils are... I guess I can use these fossils to sell to get some money. And the pedal. So we're making a bit of money here as well, doing this. There we go, we got it. Oh, thank god, okay. That's amazing. Oh. So the, the green liquid resets as well when we leave. Okay, super repel back on. Okay. Okay, and that's what takes us to the black market, I think. And I think... I think that's everything... down here. Okay, so we can't just... Okay, I'm gonna go and evolve 
I'm going to go get Glenn evolved and then we're going to go back up there. We're going to go back up, explore this to the city. We're going to get um, Mamoswain or we're going to get Pelisman evolved as well. And then I am going to... And then we're going to go, yeah, we're going to explore the city, we're going to get everybody evolved, and then I'm going to do some training. Try and get everybody up to the level they need to be at. There's the King's Rock. Go buy some Moomoo Mox as well. Oh, this is a guy that offers extra storage space. Oh, this is the guy with the custom move. Okay, okay, so we want to do this as well. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, change type. We want it to be ice. I want to teach it to monster. See, god damn, does he need a good ice move. Um, hey, cool fan, how's it going, man? I'm going to put off thrash. I really don't like thrash. I don't. I just don't like the idea of using it. No, no, no. Yeah, ice. No. And the name, what do I want to call it? You know what? <laughs> Gotta call it Ice Age. Because <laughs> he's a fucking, he's a mammoth. I mean, come on. Yeah. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! God, that movie's horrible. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to actually give him the King's Rock first. That's not the right Pokemon. Yes. Glenn. Evolve him, please. There we go. Ah, oh, so happy right now. We're getting shit done. Yeah. All right, Todd. <clears throat> Alright, so that's everything we want to do down here right now. Bunch of stuff to sell. Not a bunch of stuff, but some stuff. I got two hard skills? When did I? Okay. 
I don't know when I got two of them, but I'll take that. I might as well sell this as well. I should get 5,000 for these and I literally don't ever need to use one. Sell these as well, because you can rebuy these. So. Sell the max revive and the revive as well. Don't need that. Alright. I don't remember what these guys are sell. You sell potions. You sell balls. You sell incense. And you sell. Oh, you're the furfurer guy. Okay, yeah, you're the one that sells TMs. I don't think I need any of these, to be honest. Oh. That's right, you can use all this stuff. I actually wonder if it may be worth buying some of this crap. Like the amulet coin, for example. They're all pretty cheap, so... Yes, yeah, so where you can sell the... Or you can buy the evolution items. And evolution stones. Yeah, I don't know who can learn it though, that's the only issue. That live wire move, because it's basically a... It seems like it's an entry hazard that paralyzes. That would be an amazing move for the East fight. If I could literally get... Although, although actually, no, it wouldn't. I'm assuming it only works on stuff on the ground and all of his Pokemon are flying type, so it literally wouldn't even do anything. <laughs> as great as that would be. You know, I don't know what happened, but I... Somehow, we, we were way higher leveled when we got here in our first run of the Egglock. Like, our whole team was like way over 45 by the time we go here. I don't know how the hell we're so, mo so much more underleveled. Right. Now finish exploring the city and then we'll go to our secret base and get trained up, get thingy evolved, and then we'll, yeah, we'll get ready to go and fight. To go and fight East. Doesn't work against flying electric and ground types. Oof. Yeah, this gem is uh this is where we died last time. Once against the upcoming gem leader. We're going to be more prepared this time. Daddy bird. Oh, an ability capsule, that's right. Sweet. Actually, can maybe look at can maybe look at all of our Pokemon's abilities and see if any of them, see if it's worthwhile actually using it on any of them for the upcoming fight. See if that would actually help in any way. I did not mean to take that Bonsley, but you know what? That's fine. That's another egg token for us, since it's a gift Pokemon, that's totally cool. So many trades. Can we still get a escape rope? Did I come in here? I don't think I did.
stunk. Oh yeah, this is the other gym leader that's like talking up and he says. So weird. Come back and talk to him after we defeat East apparently. And he'll give us something. Let's see if we can make it that far this time. So many people selling eggs and shit, man. I swear. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. So let's go to your secret base and start getting ready for the battery coming up. This is another issue as we are kind of running out of money again. Just gotta hope that we've got enough money to get everybody trained up and get all the moves that we need and all, and all that jazz. Ancient power. Um, I guess I'll put it over mud bomb. Mud bomb's going to be pretty much useless in the upcoming fight, so. I guess we may as well see if there's any other moves that our Pokemon can learn that would be useful for us. Sidon, do you learn anything? Nah. Oh, we could put Flare Wheel. Oh, yeah, we could get Flare Blitz or Mac Punch. I don't know what the hell that is. Could get Flare Blitz or Mac Punch. Unfair, mate. The only thing is, I don't know what I'm going to want to take it over. I mean, we could get Flare Blitz to take our Flame Wheel just for the extra power. <sighs> I guess I could maybe just put Mac Punch over Bulk Up. Because I don't want to get rid of Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot will be so useful for that uh, Altaria. The Mega Altaria. Mac Punch isn't exactly gonna fighting moves aren't exactly gonna be super useful in the upcoming fight. You know. Hmm. Jesus. Nah. Larissa. Mm. No. I think Mac Punch or Flare Blitz are the only ones really that I would maybe want. But I'm still not sure if I want Flare Blitz on him or not. Hmm. Alright. Well, we take everybody's items off so that we can lock it egg. Oops. That's not. I don't know what. What? Why did I just... Uh, 
Alright. So we don't have to use as much money getting them trained up. Walk it egg. Alright. Probably gonna try and get everybody up to like 49 ish. There we go. Finally getting our mammo swine. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Alright. Okay, hold on. Before we continue training real quick, I want to actually check if the ability capture is worth using on anybody. <clears throat> He's got a snow cloak. Or he could have oblivious. And since we don't have any hailstorm stuff. I feel like that might be better. Maybe worth using it on him to get oblivious. Damp. I don't. We can't get Drizzle, and I don't know if his other ability is better. His Damp would actually be kind of nice for exploding stuff. Other water. I mean. He's specially bulky anyway, so he's not going to be taking damage from water attacks, really. I don't think he really needs water absorb. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in the game that can explode. Hmm. Maybe. Shell armor we're definitely going to keep to protect from crits. Uh, Blaze is the only thing he can have. Can't get his hidden ability. Swarm? I actually don't remember what his other abilities are. I think he, I think his hidden ability is in Trainment, isn't it? Swarm, Hustle, or tr oh, Truant. Oh no, Trainment's in a move. You can use, yeah, you can use that to put Truant on stuff. What does Hustle do again? Is it that increases the user's attack stat by 50% but lowers the accuracy of the user's physical moves by 20%? I don't know if I would want that to be honest. Chance of having every move I have possibly missing. Oh, Technician on Larissa though. That could be powerful. With Shadow Punch and Fake Out. That could be so strong. And Technician is his other ability. It's not his hidden, his hidden ability, Skill Link. I think that might be... That might be worth do, going for. Because that'll give us... That'll give Larissa so much more power. For the upcoming fight. Which I think she needs, because our... She's not gotten as many IVs as everybody else. Plus, Shadow Punch and Fake Out are pretty weak moves. And having them be able to get powered up by 50% would be great. 
I think I might use it on Larissa because Technician on, on Amber Palm is so strong. Yeah. I think that's what I think it's worthwhile using it for for technician. Wait, what? Why is it still here? Did it work? Oh, is it no? I forgot his cursed. Oh, I thought his other. What? Is his hidden ability in this technician? I thought it was the same as, as, as regular Amber Palm. His hidden ability is technician. You know what? I'm fine. You know, I'll just leave it. Curse body is actually kind of useful. I guess. I think curse body is probably going to be more useful. Being able to just like disable some moves that they use on me. Alright, let's get back to training. It's not going to be super useful in the upcoming fight, but it's earthquake, we've got to learn it. It plays pranks by threatening people with its detached head. If its spirits leaves its body, its body is left without arms. Oh my god. Is that his fucking the dex entrance? That's crazy. There we go, that's perfect, just barely on 49 for him. Uh, I'm gonna aim for 49 for everybody. That's what level the uh that's what the highest level gym leader the gym leader's got is on. And uh yeah. And it's a tough fight, so Oops. I'm actually not sure if we're gonna have enough money to get all the fights that we need from this. God Client, we really need to get you some fucking better moves. Christ almighty. It's like a bubble beam and body slam. Jesus.
Oh, hyper voice. Yeah. His physical attacks that at this point isn't great, so. Yeah, that's the issue as well, is obviously a lot of our Pokemon level up differently. Fucking, oh my god. So yeah, things like La Lapis and Mamoswine take like tons of, they actually take tons and tons of experience to level up. Oh, there's entrainment. I was just talking about that. Okay. I think we'll have enough. We should have enough to get everybody up to 49, I think. And we've still got plenty of healing items, so we don't have to worry about that. Just these two left. Alright, we'll probably only have to do one more of these after this to get Lapras up to 49, I think. And then we'll be done.
Oops. God damn it. to risk the hydro pump. Ah, oh, because we could. It's nearly double the power of water pulse. And 80 accuracy ain't that bad. Uh, if only we had the TM for Scald, <laughs> we'd be set. We could give that to both Poseidon and Glenn, it'd be amazing. No, I don't want to risk. I don't want to risk missing constantly. So I just know I fucking will. You know what? It's fine. We'll leave it. There are a couple of trainers that we fight in the before we get to east, so that's fine. That'll do. Okay, now I just have to figure out what the best items are to give everybody as well. So let's see. Hmm. I think definitely give the leftovers to Poseidon and Glenn, as they are both like tanks. We're not really, I don't think we're really going to be setting up that many rain dances, so I don't know if the damp rock's really going to be that handy for us. Charcoal and armpits, I think. Focus band. Uh, I think I'll throw the focus band on Kevin. Because the Altaria or the Neuvern both have fire attacks. And if we can send out Kevin to like just tank a hat and be left at 1 HP and then finish one of them off at one point, that would be amazing. Because he has the Iron Head to uh, super effective hit Mega Altaria. That could actually save us if we're able to do that. And then... We need, two, we need an item for these two. I can maybe, when we're doing the Black Market, see, look, have a look again at the whole items that they're all selling. And see if we can maybe get something for these two as well. I think that's pretty much everything we can do right now. TMs? I don't think there's really anything I can do with the TMs that we have. I'm actually kind of tempted to maybe throw... I can't even learn Brain. Never mind. Uh... Okay. I might have a look at the TMs and that on here again. Protect. <laughs> um.
I don't think any of these are really... Nah, I don't think any of them are really going to help us. Alright, I think... That's pretty much it. I think we're ready to go. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, it's up here, up here, and then up here. Nope, nope, that's the wrong way. Wait, is it? No, it's not. There we go. I'm gonna actually buy another King's Rock. I'm gonna give that to Larissa just for constant. The hope to get more flinches. And then. For, for Mama so any hold that would be useful. I guess I'll give him that to power up Ancient Power a little bit. Since it will be super effective against some of his mons. We do unfortunately have a few things to do on the way. There's a battle we have to do as soon as we get in here. That's going to be potentially a tough fight. And then we've got a few scrubs to fight. And then... And then we fight east. So we've still got a few things to do before we... Before we get there. Just going to save. Since we've not saved yet. So basically these are the other, one of the other cults, the Perfection Cult. We're asking them if we can get in, they're saying why should we? If the Ogre's going to be in danger, why should I, you know, help you save him? And then we're like, oh come on, and then he's like, basically he's like, oh actually, you know, you know, you might be handy. We've, because they're, you know, studying Mega Evolution, so they ask us to battle. So that they can study it a bit more. And then if we win this fight, he will actually give us the Mega Rings. But last time we did this fight, we beat this guy quite easily. So... I actually forgot he had cured him. <laughs> Hopefully we can get through this without too much trouble. Can you, like, hit yourself once? Thank you. Oh, don't paralyze me. Thank God. High roar. Okay, I guess I'll stay in. Psy shock. Still did like nothing to me though. Fucking Poseidon's wrecking his, his whole team, holy crap. Alright Glenn, you can come out and deal with this Pyro. <clears throat> oh, here comes the mega stunfisk. Um 
the best way of dealing with this thing? I guess... I guess... I don't know if this thing has levity or not. I don't think... I don't think Stunfisk has levity, does it? What the hell does it have? Yeah, Mega Stunfisk. Wait till you see it. It's quite a sight. Sorry about that, I was just checking something. Okay. I think Monster should be able to just Earthquake it and take it out. His ability is basically huge power for special attacks? Jesus. That's actually a little bit terrifying. I really hope he doesn't have anything that can actually hurt us. I'll go for the Earthquake. If that doesn't kill, I can probably finish him with any shard because he's probably still ground type as well. Yeah, look at that shit. <laughs> Now oh, we outspeed. Damn. Oh, so close. Oh no. That might actually kill us. <gasps> Monster, you fucking tank. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh, that was it. For some reason, I remember him having more than like three Pokemon. Jesus Christ. That was terrifying. Oh my god. Oof. Did he heal our guys? Of course he didn't. What an asshole. It's actually kind of annoying because I used a lot of my ice beams there. Yeah, I want to get the PP of that back up. Get the way, dipshit. Yeah, we need a key to get that. And there's the EV8, which we do not have. We did not start with an EV, so... Or we don't have an EV, so we can't... Unfortunately, cannot use that. Okay, yeah, there's a couple of these trainers here that we have to fight quickly. Which shouldn't take too long. Try to go for sky attack? Christ. I'm tempted to see how much damage Ice, Ice Age will do to him. Oh, nearly a one shot, and he's pretty bulky. It's not too bad. Actually, curious. I'm actually wondering if Mama Swain's, if Mama Swain's uh, ice shard would be enough to one shot the Nivern, because that thing was really annoying last time. But the scary thing is, it does have flamethrower, so if it hits us with that, that could be fucking dangerous. Sheer cold? Oh my god, no. I'm not fucking... I'm not learning sheer cold. Christ almighty.
Okay, I think that's it. I think it's just them three, isn't it? And then, yeah, there's like nothing up in this room for some reason. <laughs> kind of weird. Yeah. God, look how many Pokemon. How many goddamn Pokemon we've got waiting for us. Turn into beautiful, beautiful eggs. Our poor deaths. Rip. Okay, now the question is who do we start with? Last time I remember, he started with a fucking Skarmory that was set in they set up stealth rocks and spikes and stuff, and that was kind of a pain. If we can have something to one-shot that, that would actually be very helpful. Because the stealth rocks, last time, fucked us so bad. But I don't think I have anything I can one-shot them with. The only thing I, the only thing I could have to one-shot them is a special electric or fire attack. And I don't have either of those. Flying wheel's not going to do enough. His physical defense is too good. That'll maybe two shot him. Maybe. My best bet might honestly be to like start with Poseidon. Hope that we outspeed and go for the confuse ray. And hope that that'll maybe give him less of a chance to set stuff up. And it happened with a couple of ice beams, but I feel like Armpits isn't going to get much action in this fight. Except maybe to help take out Altaria. The two Pokemon that gave us the most trouble last time was Noivern and Gliscor. But for Gliscor, we've got plenty of ice and water moves. And for Noivern, again, we've got plenty of water and ice moves. So that shouldn't be an issue. But I think maybe a, maybe a couple of flame meals would be the best thing to go for. To just take it out with the charcoal and with his actually really good physical def physical attack, we could probably two shot it with a flame wheel. Maybe hope that he sets up just like maybe spikes. And we can maybe knock him out before he gets the Stealth Rocks up. Because the Stealth Rocks, in particular, is going to be really bad on Poseidon and Monster. In fact, no, only Poseidon, actually. We actually have... We actually have four Pokémon in our team that have got types weak to weak to Rock, but there are other, but three of them have, ta they have a secondary type that makes us not actually weak to it. I think this might be our best start. Just try and take out that Skarmory as fast as possible. And then he'll probably send it in the Noivern, and then I can switch in. Probably best bet is to just switch in... Actually, I don't know what to switch in against that, because it has Focus Blast as well. Which is terrifying. And it never fucking missed it a single time last time. But, Poseidon, with his a huge amount of HP and special defense. He can probably tank it, and we don't have to worry about crits. And surely one Ice Beam from him will take out the Noivern, because Noivern's not exactly tanky. Yeah, this is it. This is it. We're about to fight East. Let's do it. I'm God, if we can just get through this with only maybe... I mean, the ideal situation is getting through it with, only, with nobody dying, but... We'll see what happens. With the team we've got, it's possible. Like, th four or five, like, f five out of, uh, out of the six Pokemon we have super effective attacks for this time. Kingdra's the only thing we don't have any super effective moves for. And we didn't have any for that last time, but we still managed to take it out pretty quickly. The fact that we have actually a good amount of water and ice moves, and most of his team is weak to water and ice, We're going to have a much easier time with this. I 
All right. Let's do this. Did set up the spikes first, thank god. That's not gonna do nearly as much damage as fucking stealth rocks would have been doing. Okay. Much better situation than we were last time. Don't have to deal with stealth rocks. Yeah, the Noivern's coming out. Okay. Poseidon, really need you to tank a focus blast, or if you could just avoid it completely, that would be amazing. If you could one shot this. If you could one shot this thing, that would be just fantastic. Oh, do you know what I just realised? Because of the spikes, we're not going to be able to do the tactic with Kevin to have him switch out and survive with the focus band and then go for a iron head. He's literally not going to be able to do that. Although, he is fast enough. He may actually be able to outspeed and make an Altaria if we need time to come out and hit it with an iron head. I guess we'll see. Yep. Tank it, tank it, tank it. Oh, we tanked that so well. Not even half health. Please. Oh, I forgot I had a focus sash. Oh, I forgot I had a focus sash. Oh, fuck. I'm just going to go for it again. Yeah, because he's going to heal. Please don't, please don't activate again. Please don't activate again. Oh, oh thank God. Okay, not only did he waste a field restore there, but he also basically let us knock him out for free. Oh, here's the Altaria. What do I do against this thing? I could stay in. I remember it had... The only two removes I remember it having is Fire Blast and Cotton Guard. Because he used Cotton Guard, like, right before it killed us. Or right before it killed one of our guys at the end of the last battle. I think his Mega Alt Altaria is level 49. I could stay in and probably tank a couple of hits from it. Poseidon actually might be able to take Mega Altaria out on his own, to be honest. Like, we're tanky enough. A Focus Blast from a Noivern didn't even do half. And he doesn't have any super effective attacks for us. So I don't think it'll do that much. I think, honestly, stay in and just Ice Beam. And if he gets us low enough, just high proportion. I honestly think Poseidon can probably take this thing out on its own. If Focus Blast from Noivern didn't even take us from half health when we weren't even at full health, there's nothing this thing can do to uh, hurt us that badly. And Ice Beam might genuinely be able to two-shot him. But he is bulky and it is only two times effective, so we'll see. Oh, he's faster. And the Dragon Ball, that did not do much at all. We can tag another one of those. Yep, we got this. And we don't have to worry about crits. Fucking Poseidon MVP. Oh. oh, the MVP. We've already taken out two of his strongest mons. Talonflame. Glenn. You can, you can, sh hopefully you can deal with the Talon Flame. I could actually maybe set up a Rain Dance here. Although that would maybe be bad because he does have the Kingdra. And I really don't want to power up his water moves. I think we'll just go for the Bubble Beam, see how much that does. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's potentially bad. Oh, the crap. Thank you. <laughs> the Revenge. The revenge, all that bullshit hacks that we dealt with the first time fighting him and no, we're getting it all. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> oh, the fucking Gale Wings Brave Bard would have destroyed us and I did not read what is coming in next. Fuck. Um, I did not read what was coming in next. Um, you know, I'll just stay in. See what it is. That was the Kingdra. I should have switched. That's fine, that's fine. I can stay and hit it with a couple of hyper voices that can't really touch me too badly.
Drake on me are. Ooh, you know what? That's fine. We can tank that. And then now he's barely going to be able to do any damage. You know what? Just to get the safe switch, I'm going to try and Hypnosis and I'm going to switch in Larissa to take this thing out. Okay, we're going to miss. That's fine. We can tank hits from this thing all day. Come on, Glenn. Oh! No! The crit! Oh, he's probably got Sniper. Fuck! Glenn! We just got him evolved! Oh. I should have seen that coming. The, the fucking Sniper. Of course, he had a higher chance of getting crits. God damn it. We were, it was going so well. It was going so goddamn well. Well, the only thing left now is the is the Gly score. And we've got Poseidon. We'll just high proportion, heal up. And then take him out. The only thing he can do to hurt us is uh, Earthquake, which is probably not going to do that much, in all honesty. The f you know, I'm still proud of the fact that we managed to... This is the first healing item we've used. We've only had one Pokemon die and he's on his last. We've done so much better than last time. So much better. You know what, I'm going to confuse him. Because I don't want to deal with this fucking... Just so he doesn't... Oh, I can't confuse through fucking that. I'm a dumbass. I can do this all day. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. I'm so happy that we got through that. I'm so happy that we got through that. Only one death. Honestly, part of me was thinking we may potentially have one Pokemon die during that fight, at least one. I just kind of sucks that there's Glenn now, because we just, we literally just got him finally evolved. All right, man. See you later. Now the problem is we have to deal with the Mega Rayquaza. And we're not going to be able to switch Glenn out with anybody until we finish that. So the question is, how do we deal with the Mega Rayquaza? See, Monster's pretty bulky. It's probably going to just go straight for the Dragon Dance. I don't... I'm hoping that if it went straight for the Dragon Ascent, that Monster can tank it. That way we can just go for the Ice Age, four times effective, and then just go for the Ice Shard to finish off. Because he's bulky. 111 defense, 191 HP. I don't think a dra a, just a straight up Dragon Ascent will just one shot us. And hell, even if it does, we can send in Larissa, we can fake out, we can send in Kevin, who's even bulkier. And has the focus band, so even if it does one shot, he'll survive it. And then we can hit it with an iron head, which might be enough to take it out. I think Monster's going to have this. I'm hoping, at least. Oh wait, I might as well heal while we're here. In fact, no, 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 I won't, because that'll heal Glenn up, and we don't need the healing, so... Alright, if, if we can kill... If we can kill him here, then we'll finally be making progress past where we were last time. And I can actually start reading the story and stuff again now that we're finally caught up.
Okay, let's do this. Alright, please, please go for the dra the last time we went for the dragon dance straight away when he didn't really need to. Please go for the dragon dance straight away so that I can get a free hat and then just ice shard. Oh no 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 please tank it, please tank it, please tank it, please tank it, please, 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 please. Oh we tanked it. And his defense fell. Oh, we may one shot on my ice age, please. Oh wow. Ice shard. Yes! Oh, thank god. That fucking Dragon Ascent is so strong. I can't believe I've done that much damage without any boosts. That's ridiculous. Oh, thank god. I can't believe it. The power of the crystal failed me. Oh, we finally made it past where we were. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I should probably take Glenn off the overlay. Rock, rock Glenn. He did well. He did well. You annoying brat, you were just lucky I won't make the same mistake twice. Requires a draw upon the power of the crystal to heal yourself. Bring yourself back to full strength and we'll resume the attack. Use Ice Wind now! Oh shoot! Yeah right, I just dropped some ice around here. Did you see where it landed? Oh shit. I'd say, I'd say I was sorry, but I'm really not. It's a good thing Requires is weak to ice, huh? That one was for your- that one was for your lies to the Torin region. This is one for trying to kill my friend. Oh shoot. What? No, the crystal. You fool, you realize what you've done? You broke it. A limitless source of energy, now in pieces all over the region. You stupid, stupid, stupid child. Requires a quick, those pieces need to be found after they fall in, uh, before they fall into the wrong hands. Damien, red, you have made a powerful enemy today. I will see to it that you both feel the sting of my wrath. And he's off. I can't believe he was a traitor all along. I used to look up to him. He was my hero, but I guess that was all propaganda, huh? The worst part is that we can't tell anyone about this. Nobody would believe us. I know I wouldn't. You know what we need to do? We need to fight these cults ourselves, because the Augur clearly isn't doing it for us. We're strong, we have legendaries on our side. After all, I think we could pull it off. Please. Plus, there's that prophecy Nora was talking about. I nearly forgot. I found these on the ground. Where you and East battled. I figured you should have them. They're yours after all. Ah. Okay. We got a summit badge and we got East's will? What the fuck? I'll meet you in the, U in the in Utira town. There's an old library there. Maybe we can learn more about that prophecy. Nora was heading there too. I'll see you later, Red. Alright. Oh. Oh. I think this is one of the shards of the crystal. I can feel the power emanating from it. This is about a third. This is about a third. Let's hurry, Requaza. We need to find the rest before they fall into the wrong hands. Damn. Oh no, is he going to get murdered? This poor guy. I wonder what this is. I'm sure Audrey, the leader of the Abyssal Cult, will reward greatly if I show this to her. Oh no, cult war. Oh, all the different cults are finding pieces. Oh shit. I see. If this is what I think it is, I'll make good use of this. Oh damn. Alright. We fucking did it. We have officially gotten past where we were last time. Alright, well I think this is this was only going to be a short stream today anyway, so I think this is a good place to end things. We'll end things here, and tomorrow, on the regular stream day, we will finally start making new progress in this game. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye.